From Jordan Spieth's incredible journey to the top to Patrick Cantley's insane comeback winning spree, these are the golfers who overcame the odds to win. Over the years, golf has seen its fair share of success stories, yet it's the comebacks that make headlines all over. And nothing gets more iconic than Jordan Spieth's incredible journey to the top. Back in 2015, the industry had no idea who just stepped into the scene, and Augusta National had first-class seats to watch the young fearless Spieth step onto that iconic course ready to conquer the golfing world. And boy did he deliver. With nerves of steel and a putter that seemed to have magical powers, he dominated the Masters Tournament at the age of 21. Talk about a jaw-dropping rookie season. Jordan's performance was off the charts, and oftentimes he'd show a level of maturity that left even the seasoned pros in awe. His shots were precise, and his confidence was unshakable. But after that historic Masters win, he hit a rough patch that ended up lasting for a whopping four years. Imagine going from the next big thing in golf to a guy who could barely make the cut. It was a slump that tested his determination, his belief in himself, and his love for the game. But even then, Jordan didn't let adversity get the best of him. He put in the hard work, tirelessly honing his skills and searching for that spark to reignite his brilliance. And you know what? In 2021 and 2022, he bounced back like a true champion. His comeback was nothing short of legendary, as he reclaimed his form to win not just one, but four tournaments, including the British Open. That said, there are other golfers who've also had massive slumps in their careers, like Brooks Koepka. This guy has had his own share of ups and downs on the PGA Tour, but throughout it all, he's remained headstrong. Now, back in 2017, the pro golfer was a force to be reckoned with on the fairways. Armed with a power game that let him run laps around his competition, he was dominating the season at Aaron Hills, and the crowd at the US Open, as well as the rest of the world, could only watch in awe as he won tournament after tournament. I mean, he even went on record to say that sometimes majors are the easiest to win. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. And after a successful few years in the sport, Brooks finally hit rock bottom in 2019. From multiple injuries to rumors about retirement because of his poor form, Koepka was the target of critics. And the fact that he had to undergo knee surgery in 2020, as well as wrist surgery in 2021, largely affected his swing and power. But like the professional he is, he always assured fans that he'd be back on the leaderboard one day. And in the year 2023, Brooks emerged stronger than ever. He absolutely annihilated the competition at the PGA Championship. He defied the odds and embarrassed the critics. But this wasn't the first time the industry has been wrong about players' potential. I mean, just look at Phil Mickelson, the golfing legend who defied age and exceeded all expectations. Because while the rest of the field has father time on their side, Mickelson, at the age of 50, stepped onto the grand stage of the PGA Championship, ready for a challenge. And boy, did he shatter every limit. It's safe to say that Mickelson swung his way into the record books in 2021, becoming the oldest major champion in history. But it wouldn't be fair to just mention his tournament accomplishments, because his biggest accomplishment has to be his determination to return to the sport. If you don't already know, Phil was going through a six-year-long drought of major titles that loomed over him like a dark cloud, casting doubt on his ability to reclaim glory. And to make matters worse, every time he failed to make the cut during those years, commentators would say, maybe this is his last tournament. Maybe he'll finally hang up the gloves, but Mickelson is as stubborn as they come. And with his strong will, he faced these hardships head on, refusing to let setbacks define him. He used each loss as a learning opportunity, pouring his heart and soul into his game. I mean, to make a comeback like that is never easy, let alone when you're in your 50s. Oh, and not just that. When his form declined after joining Live Golf, causing him to drop out of the top 100 in the world rankings for the first time in nearly three decades, he embraced the challenge. Staying positive after all those years of no wins isn't easy, which just goes to show how dedicated Phil is to the sport. But if you thought six years was long, wait till you hear about Stuart Sink's legacy in professional golf. Because to this day, no golfer has even come close to his record of surviving 11 years and still making a comeback win. Yep, you heard that right. Stewart went a staggering 11 years in the industry without a major win. But to make you understand how unbelievable this was at the time, let's rewind back to 2009, 
because at the time, Stewart had an insane six major wins under his belt, including the extremely competitive 2009 Open Championship win. But after spending 40 weeks in the top 10 of the leaderboard, cracks started appearing in his armor. First, he was failing to make shots he could usually make with his eyes closed. Then Sink was struggling to make the cut and was dropping out of tournaments. So when the news finally broke that he'd been struggling at home due to his beloved wife, Lisa, being diagnosed with breast cancer, it all finally made sense. Another challenge was his loss of distance and efficiency with his driver, which he addressed by changing his swing and equipment setup. In 2020, fans finally got to see him back in action again when he won the Safeway Open event. And from then on, it's only been an upward journey for the seasoned vet. When Stewart was asked how he overcame these challenges, he said he was inspired by his wife's resilience and strength. What's more, seeing his wife battle cancer made him think, why can't I do that? Seriously, Stewart defied all odds to return to the golf course, just like J.B. Holmes did at the 2014 Wells Fargo Championship. From battling vertigo and facing allergies that affected his balance and vision, to having brain surgery to remove a piece of his skull, this man has been through thick and thin to continue his professional career, and it is nothing short of amazing. I mean, can you imagine having to make such a life-altering decision, knowing it would change your entire life? But Holmes has always been a tough cookie, so the surgery and the recovery period were just a part of the long road to the top for him. When he returned to the PGA Tour in 2012, Holmes faced an uphill battle to regain his form and confidence. And I'll be honest, it wasn't an easy journey. He faced setbacks, frustrations, and moments of doubt. But through it all, he never forgot his ultimate goal, to compete with the best once again. Gradually, with each swing of the club, JB finally reclaimed his place in the golfing world. And in 2014, the moment of victory arrived at the Wells Fargo Championship. He won the tournament by one stroke over Jim Fury, shooting a final round one under 71 to finish at 14 under par. Along with that, he also set a new course record with a nine under 62 in the second round. Talk about being iconic. And rumor has it, it's Stewart's resilience that inspired Patrick Cantlay to go on an insane comeback winning spree. Because just like Sink, Patrick also had to deal with the uncertainty that comes with getting major surgery. He suffered a serious back injury, which sidelined him for nearly three years. And to make matters worse, tragedy struck Cantley's world in 2016, when his best friend and caddy, Chris Roth, passed away in a heartbreaking hit-and-run accident. The weight of this loss could have crushed his spirit, but Cantley found the strength to carry on, honor his friend's memory, and pursue his passion for golf. After spending months in rehab, he rebuilt his body and his game step by step. And now, things are looking up for the golfer from California. Patrick's absolutely at the top of his game, consistently competing for the biggest prizes out there, including major championships. It's safe to say that he's absolutely killing it in the golf scene. And with the kind of form he's got in 2023, it's no surprise fans predict he'll be topping the leaderboard at a PGA Tour event very soon. So there you have it, golf fans. From Patrick Cantlay's insane comeback winning spree to Jordan Spieth's incredible journey to the top, those were the golfers who overcame the odds to win.